Hi, I'm Bob Carroll. I'm the Executive Vice President at Permanent Solutions Labor Consultants, and I'm your host for this week's episode of Employee Relations Words of Wisdom. Do your best. I got to tell you, I've been avoiding social media as much as I can, trying to avoid the media as much as I can. Like many of you out there, there are fears in the back of my head. There's a lot of uncertainty, a lot of unknowns. But I did, I hopped on social media yesterday. And as I predicted, I immediately started to regret it. As I saw inappropriate jokes about the COVID-19 virus, I saw panic. I saw blatantly fake news. I hate the word, but it's it's true. Remember, I was on here last Monday, and I said, trust where the truth is. And I highly recommend you continue to follow what's going on with the Center for Centers for Disease Control. Uh, remember, there's a website out there, coronavirus.gov, that will keep you updated on where we are focusing our attention as a country. But one post stood out. And the post was from an average Joe. And it said, now is the time where we should truly judge our employer. Of course, there's a lot of people that are upset because a lot of people have been told to work from home. A lot of people have to go to work. And let me break that down for a second. Here I am. I'm working at home. It makes absolutely no sense for me to go out in the public unless I have a legitimate reason to do so. Say, for instance, we have a client with a crisis. I'll be the first one to get into my car, drive right to a client, go into the building, and handle the situation for a client. I'll also be the first one that follows the guidelines, washes my hands, maintains my spacing, and keeps calm. So yes, your employees right now are judging every move you make. Should that freak you out? That all depends. Do you truly love and care for your employees? Because that's what they need right now. If your employees have to work, they darn well better feel the love. They better darn well feel the empathy that you have for them and their families. Because you know their families are in just as much of a panic as your workers that walk in the door. Every day they walk into your door. So here's a couple of tips that I can add that weren't on the last episode. Do you have a contingency plan in place if somebody does test positive in your workplace? Are you prepared to close your doors so that you can properly clean your facility, properly talk with your employees, properly engage with your employees so that they are emotionally sound to get the job accomplished? I hope so. If you don't have such a plan, you should look at that right now. It's called a contingency plan for a reason. We hope you never have to use it, but you keep hearing that this is going to get worse before it gets better. There's truth to that. Take it as someone who worked in EMS during the H1N1 pandemic, the last pandemic we faced. Who remembers social distancing when we went through that? Who remembers shutting down entire seasons for sports? Who remembers closing bars and restaurants? Would it shock you to know that social distancing was part of that response plan? 
yet we didn't do it. So yes, there's a lot of confusion happening right now. A ton of it. A lot of unknowns. And your employees are no different than you. I'm sure you as a leader put on a brave face if you're not working from home. You put on a brave face and come in to work just like your employees. But you're worried just like everybody else. Listen, your employees are judging you. So do your best. I wish I can give you more answers. I wish I could tell you exactly how to calm the fears of your employees. I can't. I don't know your employees like you do. You need to get out and start a campaign with your employees to have free and open communication. Maybe you have to change your normal routine. Maybe you need to stagger shifts. Maybe you need to change the way lunch breaks are handled so people are not packed into one lunchroom. Maybe you need to think about ways to move your operations around so people aren't packed so closely together. It's monumental, but vital. If it means your employees will come to work and feel safe. At the end of the day, everybody's going crazy right now, whether they want to admit it or not. There is fear. There is uncertainty. There is doubt. So I'm throwing a challenge out to everyone, every single leader. Whether you're a supervisor, manager, executive, owner, I don't care. You're in a war with a virus and your employees are right there with you. If they can't work from home, you better learn what emotional intelligence and strategic empathy is right now. Because the worst thing that could happen is if we start shutting down as a country. I'm going on record right now and declaring the true heroes as the truck drivers, the, the employees working on the front lines, the healthcare workers, the people working in warehouses, logistics, the people that are keeping our country moving right now when they want to be home with their families. Those are the heroes of our country right now in a war that we're fighting that we've never seen before. Think about that for a second. You're in charge of those people. You're leading those people. There are no generals right now. There are no machine guns out on the streets. Yes, we have to do our part. Yes, we have to stay as far apart away as we can. And by human nature, we don't want to do that with other human beings. But we got to keep our families safe. Your employees are your family. You don't want to shut down. But what if you have to? You have to be prepared for that. And your employees have to be prepared for that. I'm not an expert on what's going on with the government because they don't even seem to know what's going on yet. Uh, as, as of the time that I'm recording this, uh, it seems that the government is taking some steps for some financial relief. But I tell you what, if I got $1,000 today, that's not going to do squat if this goes on over a summer. You know, I want answers like everybody else. So step up now. You are the head of the household at your business as a leader. You need to talk to your employees about their fears. You need to listen to their ideas to possibly make it safer or more comfortable for them to come to work and work safely. That's another thing that I fear from a consulting point of view. In manufacturing, if an employee's head is not 100% on what they're doing, that can cause physical damage. 
on top of the psychological damage. None of us want that. So I'm asking you to do your best. I know that you're struggling with what your best can be. So every day, think about what am I doing my best right now? Tomorrow, think about what you can do better. The day after that, what you can do better. And listen, at the end of this, when this is all over, you'll have grown as a leader enormously. And don't forget the practices that you learned during this devastating time in our lives. You know, in my opinion, I think this virus is kind of like a reset button. We have to reset the way we think, our priorities. Yes, we will emerge out of this. Yes, the markets will rise again. Yes, we will go on vacations again. Our kids will be back in school. We will have our kids playing sports again. We will have a different sort of normal. But I truly believe that if we do this right, we'll have a better normal. That's it for this week's episode of Employee Relations Words of Wisdom. I look forward to talking to you next week.